Hi you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I am John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. And what I want to talk about today a little bit is enriching the environment with a little bit of supplemental CO2. And I put together a little contraption here. But first, obviously CO2 is a very vital gas for plant growth, right? They take it in, it makes them grow nice and healthy, and in return that gives us back oxygen, okay? Very vital for plant growth. So it's a good idea when growing indoors to always provide a little bit of supplemental CO2 for the plant growth. I mean, and what I've got going on here is a method that's been used for by indoor growers for a long time, uh, it, and it's a it works out very well. So let's come in a little closer and take a peek at what I got going on. How you guys doing? So what do I have here? Let me remove this. Okay. So what the heck is this contraption? Well, this is where the CO2 is being released from. And what you'll notice here is this is just leftover trash that I've had laying around the house. I had an old milk jug, a water bottle, some air supply line type stuff. I got like this candle holder hook thing. It's all just stuff that I had laying around. I had yeast, uh, baker's yeast in the um, pantry. So this is all stuff I didn't have to go to the store to produce this all right what I've got going on here is in this milk jug there is four cups of lukewarm water or what was lukewarm water at the time about 105 degrees one cup of plain white sugar one tablespoon of active dry yeast all right and I put it in this bottle shook it up and covered it up and what's going on in here is the process which is called fermentation right uh, and of that, the, what the yeast is doing is it's converting the carbohydrate into uh, CO2. It, and the CO2 is building up pressure in here. It's going through this line and into the water. And you can see the bubbles kicking on, right? That CO2 coming out, the pressure's then building up here, going through the air line and directly on top of the plant. Now, it is heavier than air, so you need to direct your tubing uh, on top of your plant so that it it actually has a place to absorb it okay now I can move this around with this candle holder to the different plants but this is a real cool thing alright and it's a really simple thing you don't have to use this water lock type method to do this you can completely skip that that part of the process but I like it because it's cool you can actually see bubbles right but when the bubbles stop that means your yeast is dead the fermentation's over and it's time for a change right I should also mention when the when the bubbles stop that means this has been converted into alcohol of which you could drink if you're a psychopath but uh, all you need to do is take this top off uh, rinse it out dump it out all you have to do is then just put in another batch wrap it back up in a towel because yeast does not like light and you start the whole process over again now this has been going for three days and it's still going at a pretty steady clip there okay every every day I give it a little shake just to kinda of shake things up right and I'll get I'll get a couple of quick releases here but this has been a really cool way of introducing some CO2 into my into my grow room so if you are at all interested in doing something like that, hey man, try this t this method out. There's all kinds of videos on YouTube on how to set up this method. There, and there's also bigger, bigger setups that people use for this as well. So anyway, just wanted to kind of share that for a second. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up type of thing or whatever. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.